So again, I'm just going to attempt to do my makeup. I squished it. Yeah. I'm gonna keep that in, I'm so keeping it in. Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Georgia, and today I'm gonna to show you a haul that I got from Revolution. Uh, it's not too many things, but I did get a few things that I needed more than anything. But I also got a three mystery bag, which was when you spend £35 on the website, you get a mystery bag which is worth up to £30. I'll be showing you guys that today as well. Let's get started. Let me show you what I got. I was in real need of getting some more eyeliner and mascara. I'd completely kind of run out of eyeliner and my mascara was like the last little dry things I was using. So I went with the Super Flick eyeliner in black and then the Big Lash mascara. These were two for £9 for the mascara and eyeliner and I think there was two choices of eyeliner, maybe three. And then a few choices of mascara as well. I also needed to get brow products. I use a powder at the moment, but I wanted to test some more things out. So I got the Precise Brow Pencil in the shade Medium Brown. It's quite a small little pencil on the end of it. So I think it'd be quite good for trying to draw in like hair strokes and stuff like that. Another brow product I got was this Clear Brow Gel. I got the Iconic Matte Revolution Lipstick in the shade Chauffeur. I had actually bought the lip liner a few weeks ago from Beauty Bay. So at least I've got the matching lipstick. And then I bought the new Revolution Glow Ultra Matte Bronzer in the shade Light. It is a nice big bronzer. I haven't tested it out yet for colour wise. And then look, the size of that. It's massive. And then finally I got a face powder. This is just the matte base powder in the shade P1. This is a shade lighter than I usually get my foundation in, but I am between an F1 and an F2 in their foundation. So I thought I'd go for the lighter one just to be sure, because especially once you're laying on top of everything and you've got all your other makeup on, I didn't want it to be too dark for me, so I've gone for the lighter shade. Okay, so I've got the goodie bag and I'll show you what I've got in it. First up, I've got a stippling brush by Revolution Pro. And then there is a jelly highlighter in the shade Monumental. So pretty, look at it. And then there is an iCut Revolution Unicorn eyeshadow palette. They've got some really pretty colours in there. Look at the little unicorns. It's nice to get things in these mystery bags, which are things you wouldn't necessarily pick up for yourself, but they're not completely unwearable. You know, like you could still wear these shades and it would look very nice. There is a Revolution Pro lipstick. Oh no, I squished it. When I was trying testing it out now, I don't think I uh, put the lid down properly. That was me. <laughs> but this is quite a nice shade as well. Then there was an iHeart Revolution Golden Bar eyeshadow palette. This is the cuteness that's going on today. I do think all of the Art Heart Revolution stuff is really cute. These are some of the shades here. They do look quite like glittery, but they are slightly darker colors. Otherwise it was a really nice goodie bag to get. Like it was nice that you got two eyeshadow palettes in there and like the brush as well. That always comes in handy, a brush like this. And then the lipstick is quite a usable or like generic shade I would say. It is slightly like a brick terracotta sort of brown to it. So this is just the one that I got in the mystery bag and then this is the chauffeur shade that I picked out. I've really gone in and done my foundation and concealer with the Concealer Define foundation in the shade F2 and the Concealer Define Infinite concealer in the shade F1. And I have powder but I'm just going to add a tiny bit more just to make sure everything's very matte. First of all, I'm just going to go in with the thing I'm most excited to try is the bronzer. I do struggle to find bronzer, which is a good shade for me. Like, sometimes it's too warm or too orange or too dark. This is light. This is the lighter shade they do. I don't know what it's going to be like. So we'll see. Because I don't want to start off by using too much just yet. So I'm just going to take a little bit and then just... I can already see that it's caught a little bit. You really do not need much of this at all. Um, okay, well, shade-wise it's actually not that bad. But it looks okay. Maybe I might be off just using a fluffier brush to kind of put it on. Because I feel like even though I'm literally getting the bare minimum on here, it's then not like dispersing it straight away onto my skin. It kind of sticks into one place because my brush is like dense like that. It's quite pigmented and I could definitely do with using a fluffier brush than this so I think I'm gonna have to have a look out for one and kind of get one. 
but otherwise it's a good colour, it's a nice colour, it's not too like cool toned and it's not too warm or anything or too dark so it just looks like it would be a nice colour once I find the proper brush but otherwise it is kind of just sitting in the place to put it in for now and then when I was putting my neck just now it was literally like and you can still see a line as much so I was like trying to blend it in and use it with my hands it was there for quite a while so I didn't buy a blush in this haul but I do have this old blush palette here this is the blush golden sugar palette I don't even know they still do this but these are the shades Go on in, put a bit of blush on. Just taking a mix between these two top pink ones. They are quite like shimmery as blushes, but it's just giving me a nice like healthy glow. I think today I'm gonna go with the unicorn just because I feel like this looks like it's gonna be too dark, the other eyeshadow palette. And I kind of want to do something fun with this. I'm just going to start by going in with the middle pink shade here. Oh, it is quite like powder and fallouty. Next, I'm just going to go in with this dark pink shade at the top here. I don't really know what the plan is for this look yet. I'm just going to take that into the crease. So just using a slightly smaller brush, it's the Large Smud Brush by Real Techniques, just to get really into that crease there. And I'm just going back in with my original brush and just kind of blending that out slightly. These shades aren't too pigmented, but they are like quite fun to work with, like quite nice colours and everything. And maybe if you want to use some bright colours or pastel colours, but you don't want to get too like anything that's gonna to be too out there or scary to work with, then these are pretty fun for that. So I'm gonna take this top purple shade here. So we go to the outer corner here and just kind of draw like a wing as such. But I'm gonna put eyeliner over the top of it anyway, so it doesn't really matter. The final colour I'm going to go in with is just the yellow here. I think it's like a yellowy gold. It looks like it's got shimmer in it too. Just going to pop it on the inner eye. These aren't the most pigmented eyeshadows ever and there is a lot of fallout with them. But you can create a really pretty look with them. But this is quite a cute little palette and quite a good like sort of tester of these sort of colours if that's what you want to use. But otherwise I still think it's pretty cute that it did come in the um, mystery makeup bag. Next I'm going to move on to eyeliner. This is the Super Flick eyeliner and it is just one of the brushes like this. It's quite easy to use, seeing as I haven't used eyeliner forever. I'm probably messy at other brow up now. But I just kind of drew a line and then drew a triangle with it. It's a firm enough tip to be able to get to do that. I think it's like a felt tip um, end to it rather than a brush. So you do kind of have that stability to draw more of a shape. This is some of the best eyeliner I've ever done. Maybe it's just the technique I went with that at, but doing the triangle on the end, especially with this brush, is really good. It's like really handy. Look at the wings of oat made. Next I'm going to go in with the Big Lash Mascara. This is like a plastic applicator on the end of it. It's not one of those ones that like scratches your eye. But it doesn't feel too bad. It doesn't really look like there's much volume at the moment. If anything they look thinner than normal. But I'll keep doing a few more coats. I've just put a few coats of that mascara on. I wouldn't have necessarily said it was like a volume mascara. I do prefer their the just their Revolution Mascara. I think it's just called Revolution or the Revolution Mascara. I do prefer that one. That was much like nicer. It's so much more like clumpy and like thicker and stuff. So that's really nice that one. I guess I'm gonna do my brows now. Just do my brow pencil. One end is the pencil. Look, it's tiny. And then the other end is like the brush spoolie type thing. I'm gonna just brush my eyebrows first. And then I'm just going in lining the brow especially underneath just to get a bit more shape and then just filling it in with the pencil with a few brush strokes. 
and I'm just going to then go in with the clear brow gel. I haven't really used brow gel before, or if I have, it hasn't really been like properly as such. It's quite a cute little packaging, looks like it's like frosted glass. In gels I have used before, they've been coloured, I sometimes get it up onto like my forehead above my eyebrow, not massively up on my forehead, but up onto my eyebrow here. Like it just smudges quite a lot, so I thought I'd go for the clear to see how that works for keeping your eyebrows like looking good and in place. So it's a nice little brush to use as well and there's a nice enough amount of product on there as well. This is the Revolution Renaissance Lip Liner in the shade Chauffeur. It's one of those plastic ones, so I'm unsure. I think you can sharpen it, so I haven't tried it yet. I'm a little bit scared, so I'm just gonna go ahead anyway and do this. I do really like this lip line. I've been using it for a few weeks now. It is a nice shade, and it actually does last for a long time as well. I swatched this one up against, I think it was a Morphe lip liner on my hand, and then obviously just went and washed my hands. And this lip liner was still on after rubbing with the towel and everything as well. And I did find I hasn't went to eat the other day, and my lip liner was still on compared to my lipstick. So that's always a good thing. I think it was only £3 as well, so that's really good for the price of that. Then I'm just going to be going with the iconic matte lipstick in the shade Chauffeur. These are really good, cheap, these lipsticks. I feel, like, I feel like a nice formula, a really nice colour, really pretty shade, and I think I'm definitely wearing it more often. I do have this highlight jelly, but I'm not too sure whether I can put it on top or powder. I'm going to do it anyway. That is really pretty, actually. It does look slightly metallic-y, though. It actually glows up on my skin. Oh, the shade's nice. The colour's nice. It's not too gold, especially when I first saw that. I thought it was going to be really gold and too gold for my skin tone. I can't usually get away with many golds. But it is really pretty, it's nice like sheen to it, shimmer, but I would say it is slightly metallic. So if it does sit slightly in your pores or like on your face a bit. To the top of that, just because I want to add some more like highlight, you know, I have got Soph's palette with Revolution here. My fan brush from Real Techniques. And I guess I'm just gonna go between these two like champagne gold shades here. This is the finished look. It does look slightly uh, cakey in places. The eyeshadow is just done with more of like actual colour payout, but it was it is just a fun little palette. Look at it, it's so cute. It's so cute. So I'm gonna let it go. I'm gonna let it go. It's a cute palette. It's so cute. The eyeliner I really like. People had a lot of good things to say about this eyeliner online. The mascara, I don't know, I think I'll have to give it more of a go. I am sometimes like a bit in between with mascaras when I first use them. It either has to be like an absolute hit or an absolute miss for me to like start or stop using them. Otherwise, it'll just be always a bit of fit in between. And I'll just use the mascara anyway because I need mascara. I'm not going to waste it. I really like the lip colour as well. That's probably my favourite thing, I think, the lip colour. I hope you like this video. I absolutely loved buying all this makeup. And when it turned off, I was actually so excited. Especially the little mystery goodie bag as well. That was really cute. And I like that you did actually get quite a bit in there to use. It's not just like you had to spend a certain amount and you only got like one product in there or something that was in there that was absolutely like crazy. I have been buying Revolution stuff for years now. It is like one of my favorite sort of brands to get stuff from. They all seem to be bringing out new items and they all have like good offers and stuff on their website and in Superdrug. So it's always kind of good to stock up on your makeup that way. You kind of know a lot of their products are very similar in terms of quality or expectations of what they're going to do and what they do then do. So it is a good range to kind of get into using and also a good like starting point for makeup as well I think with Revolution because they do do a lot of kind of like bougie products and a few sort of like cool things as well as just the basics for stuff and even just glamming stuff up in different packaging and stuff. This is basically just a bronzer isn't it but it's it looks super cute, it looks so cute and cool on your table or in your makeup bag or something. And they do good prices for the sizes of the items as well. I love just buying makeup and I just love getting parcels and stuff as well. I'm like, oh, what did I order again? And just going through it and like, oh my god, my god. I'm just playing around with everything. So thank you for watching. And I'll see you again in the next video. Bye.